I almost didn't make a video tonight because I'm just so tired. I'm just really a tired guy, but um, there's no way in hell I let my streak of m making YouTube videos every day end by being tired. That's not going to happen. I don't care what, what goes down. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to make this damn video, and it's going to be posted tomorrow at noon. I don't care. My life right now has been wake up, five, work out, go to work at 8.20, work until nine that's been my shit and that's what i'm doing and that and and nothing i'm doing is getting in the way of me nothing i'm doing is getting in the way of me posting on youtube because i said i'd do it and i do it someone asked me a while ago they were talking about how how do you stay committed how do you stay committed to goals when you're not seeing progress or something like that and my take on that is that I know how, you know what I, I feel like, and I don't, I don't like to put this word on it, but um, I think that momentum can be kind of fragile. And I think that, um, you know, if you're, I'm pretty hard on myself and, you know, I could be doing really, really well. Like I could post, you know what I mean? Like 70 YouTube videos in a row. But like, if I slip up on that 71st, man, I'm going to be like, could have been a hundred, you know what I mean? But so I just know that um, staying committed is just like, I know that future me will really appreciate the discipline if I don't start slacking now. So that's me. But now back to not preaching. Sorry, I don't mean to preach. On a side note, um, you know what? So it, it's interesting. I've uh, been on my on this show and I've uh, got some people to start talking to themselves doing that exercise and they said that they enjoy it and I'm really happy about that. And what I want to say about that is that, you know, they were telling me like, hey, like I, tr I tried talking to myself and it was great. And I'm like, that's amazing. Like that makes me so happy. And then, you know, but I, I also told them, I was like, that's great that they're doing that. But the thing is that when I get home, I don't really feel the inclination to do that because I'm working all day. I'm like, I get home and I feel pretty creatively drained and I think now as I'm talking, I'm starting to wake up a little bit more. I feel creative juices flowing in my brain by just letting this like stream of consciousness out. But like, I feel like when I get home sometimes, I'm just like, like I did my work for today. Like what the, what do you mean I got to sit down and make a YouTube video? You know what I mean? Because nights for me often are times where I really make a lot of content where I'm like pumping out videos and I feel like I have funny TikTok ideas and just blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know, I kind of get in my in my zone a little bit, not to limit it to just the nighttime because I get it all the time. But um, yeah, and I was just like thinking like, hmm, you know, I'm not really getting that these days, but the same face, like I get to introduce that to more people. You know what it feels like? It feels like when people tell people about religion, they're like, try this thing. It's great. Like you listen to God, like listen to this shit about God. Um, and um, I, that's how how I feel about it. Like listen to this great thing. I do it. And then it's like, I'm teaching people about it and like they're getting put on and like they're enjoying it, which is the whole point. And then I'm just here like, well, I'm making people do it. Like, am I being a charlatan? I just like saying like, you should do this, but me not doing it. But I don't really say that you need to do it every day. <laughs> I, just, I just say that you got to do it, that you should try it. But yeah, with that being said, like as I'm talking about this, this whole three minutes I've been talking, four minutes I've been thinking like, why don't I just start talking to myself right now? in the middle of it and see what's up but like oh my god you know what's some crazy i just thought of i'm like i value myself's time too much like i know i don't have shit to say to myself right now like i know i'm just like kind of living in the process right now like what the fuck i gotta say to myself right now i respect myself's time that's how i feel real shit and it's like okay you know you don't you don't want it right. well you don't want it you don't want it so that's basically how i feel about that like, I really want, like, I'm thinking, like, okay, I'm talking about talking to myself. Why don't I start talking to myself? I don't really have anything to ask myself right now. I feel, you know, I've been doing so much consulting with myself and so much reflection and goal setting and progress reports and whatever the fuck you want to call it, which basically just means thinking, you know what I mean? But doing all these different variations of thinking just to figure out where I'm at in my life right now. And, you know, amongst all that, doing that for so long, you know, this project comes into my life and it requires a lot of my attention and it makes me think.
the whole reason that I do the shit I do on YouTube and everything else in the world is so I can get opportunities, you know, like the show I'm doing. That's the whole reason I do it. And for me to, to get those opportunities and then be focused on, you know, you know, it's, I don't think it means give up on the shit that got you there. Cause it's like, no, like keep, keep going with that shit. But it's like, that's your focus. You know what I mean? Like you worked so you could work at this other thing. You're working at this other thing. Don't half-ass it now because you're so married to your ways. That's what I'm telling myself. But at the same time, making more eggs. You know what I mean? I'm not putting my eggs in this basket, that basket. Like, no, I'll stay up a little bit longer. I'll have more time and I'll still get this shit done. What I have been thinking about is I don't like that I, I, I haven't been on my shit as much with, uh, with TikTok because... I definitely, my mood definitely fluctuates a lot with like how how good my TikTok is doing day to day because it's also my primary source of income. So I like to stay on top of it. Um, so like when I'm posting videos and I'm not like having like banger videos and I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm just like posting, but like, it's not like, you know, it's not really, I'm not really putting that shit on. You know what I mean? It's like, that's whatever. So what I was thinking about today was how you know, um, it is a bit challenging to have a job that really is so, um, so heavily involves, you know, like validation by the world. Like, um, you know what I mean? Like, you know, my livelihood is based on other people liking what I'm putting out creatively, which is interesting place to be in. Um, but you know, I'm blessed that, you know, it's been going great. Um, but at the same time, it also means it's frail, right? It's fragile. And that, um, and that I need to, you know, although, you know, that's my job and I can take it seriously and blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, I'm still a person outside of these things, you know, like I'm not everything has to revolve around that. And like, I know these things, I do know these things, but I'm just someone who just takes my work seriously, you know, and uh, just wants to be good at shit that I do. So um, that's what I've been thinking about a little bit, but I don't really feel like it's like... I feel so good coming up for the new year. You know, I just, I really feel great about it. I really feel like, uh, I don't know. I really, really feel, feel great about it coming up. And, um, I know it's going to be a great year and, you know, there's only so much quote unquote planning and thinking and blah, blah, that you can do without just realizing you know what I mean? Just get lost in the sauce again and then, you know, work a little bit harder for the next couple months and then, and then start checking in with yourself again. Cause like, you know, you can be, I say you can be, I can sometimes catch myself when I'm, I need to start saying I instead of you in these videos just to take more accountability. But, um, I can be saying, I could continually be optimizing for my life, right? Like optimizing this, that, and that, but like, if I still have quote unquote goals that I have established that I want to optimize for, fuck optimizing for the goal. Just get the fucking thing done, then move on. You know what I mean? Because there's so much of a, there's so much learning from start to finish within like making something happen. Like like with my koala beanie, like there's so much that went into me being one day like huh, like, I want to make, like, this beanie to, like, getting to the end result of, like, me wearing this beanie on social media, and people are like, where's it from, where's it from, where's it from, and, you know what I mean, like, that's, like, a process, you know, definitely, there's a lot that goes into making something go from your head out into the world, um, you know, especially when it can, like, involve other people and, like, affect other people, like, other people can get this thing, you know, other people want this thing, you create this thing, and, you know, I had, like, the designer make this thing, you know what I mean, it's, like, a big process of collaboration, but, yeah, I'm just, you know, like, I thought, you know, I, to be real, I thought my life had been so urgent these days, I've been feeling such this sense of urgency, like, I need to get everything done right now, like, oh my god, oh my god, like, I have all these ideas for all these projects, and these videos and these books I gotta read and this fucking all this clothes I gotta make and these businesses and the fucking content and the blah 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 and the get in shape and starting with Thai and all this shit. It's like doing this project has really 
I mean, it's definitely been like laborious, but like also I'm, um, it's not the shit that I'm doing in my life is not that urgent. I'm just putting these timelines on myself. You know, I'm self-imposing all of this stuff. So, I mean, with that being said, with time being limited these days, that has indirectly told me what is and isn't important in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, now I get it. Like, oh, I get what's actually important right now. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, you're getting orders for like, some of your some for some of your stuff like that's a priority right now you know what i mean you're doing you know i'm getting new stuff coming to me now like that's you know I, I, you just kind of figure out what's really you know so i've just been thankful to be busy because it's a good you know good reassessment slash thinking about what's important you know what i mean that's a good way to not use all these fucking big fancy words like i know what the fuck i'm talking about reassess align optimize like I make fun of business jargon but here I am like blah 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 blah. obviously they're more specific and they help but ultimately it's just thinking and like going about stuff better but you know I also am I say that because I want to be a stickler on myself of this whole analysis paralysis thing like yeah I could be thinking uh, oh man I can um uh, Shit, man, I can, I can, I can cre create and recreate and build up and destroy the best ideas to, um, the best ideas for me to go about my life. But like, if I'm not even doing the fucking idea, like I'm better off doing the first, I'm better off walking the first path that wasn't the fastest path than I am doing nothing and keeping on making the path better and better and better and better and better. Because at some point, like you just like, I don't know. I don't know. I just believe in myself. That's all. But yeah, guys, that's what's up. Life update. Um, I'm doing my thing. Yeah, and also when I make these videos talking about like I'm busy, I'm this. Like, guys, I, I don't. I'm literally just sharing with you. This is like a video diary. I never, ever want fucking sympathy or anything. Like, honestly, like, thanks for the love. Keep it to yourself, man. I'm doing my thing. This is the grind. Don't complain that. You got a lot on your plate when you wanted to eat. So that's what's going down. You know, God bless that I got, uh, you know, I'm starting to make moves and shit, man. I hope that, uh, um, you know, I, I, I'm not letting that, that, that YouTube video street go away. That'd be really lame. So that's what's going down. And, uh, yeah, y'all. Well, thanks so much. I love you guys. I wish I could kind of make more videos right now because I just love it. But um, I got to go to bed because I, I got to be up early. I don't really know if it's a great idea for me to be always waking up so um, waking up so early and not really getting a lot of sleep. It definitely affects me. But at the same time, that's kind of what coffee's for. And I'm also it's a great test of myself. You know, like can you go? Like can you go hard every single day? You know what I mean? Testing myself, you know, you know, it's, you know, it's really toxic thing, but like, also like, this is like kind of just the vibe I'm on. It says like, it's like, it's like taking a rest day is okay. If you want to be mediocre and I'm just like, you know what? Real fucking shit. You know, fuck that. Cause I, cause I, I talk this shit. You guys hear me. I talk this shit. So I gotta be about it. So that's what's going down. Did it yesterday. Doing it today, gonna do it tomorrow. That's what's going down. Yeah. And, uh. <laughs> and I like posting it about on my YouTube because, you know, I, I get kind of like a lot of eyes on me on like TikTok and Instagram, you know, where like a lot of people would see this and they'd have all sorts of like. They, like, I might come off as, like, braggadocious when I'm, like, uh, you know, I'm trying to work hard, blah, 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 because I think that just, like, kind of hits a nerve with some people when you're, like, on your Zoom a little bit, which I hate, and then maybe that's me projecting that I feel like, I don't know, but I just, I don't like the, the hate that you get for doing your thing, but I, I, at this point, I'm just kind of mumbling because I'm falling asleep as I'm making the video, but 
I like that not so many watch, people watch these videos because uh, kind of lets me talk more shit because I'm like, oh, well, you know what I mean? Only 2,000 people are going to watch this rather than, like, TikTok. Like, a lot of people are going to watch this. Like, that's kind of scary, so. Yeah, but anyways, I love you guys. Thanks so much for supporting me. You guys are bomb. Be the person you wish you had. Love you guys. Bye-bye.